everyone welcome to hopeful turns in today's video i'll be sharing with you the pattern for the quickest and easiest crochet cowl so if you are looking for a last minute crochet project you can definitely give this pattern a try it is just a 30 minute crochet cowl pattern so let's see the supplies first and then we'll head over to the pattern so in order to make this really quick i have used a super bulky weight yarn this is the blanket yarn um, you can even use the normal yarns but try to use a super bulky weight if you want to finish it off quickly uh, you can even use bulky yarn also so this is a uh, weight six so weight five also uh, you can use but just make sure that you go with the recommended hook size since i'm using a weight six yarn i have used a nine mm crochet hook uh, the reason for using is one is to make it really quickly the other is it's super soft so if you're making it as a gift to somebody if you use this it will keep them really nice warm and cozy so that is with respect to yarn and the hook now apart from that you would require buttons here so these are about three quarter inch buttons you can use one inch button also for the closure so when it comes to the length uh, this measures about 28 inches okay 28 inches or 72 centimeter uh, while explaining the pattern I have asked to start with 29 inches that one inch has gone for the turning chain so this will fit easily fit a teenage to adult small now if you are making for an adult medium to large you might have to start with 30 to 32 inches long chain stitch i will be mentioning it on the screen when the pattern starts so this here fits a adult small and this measures 28 inches length and the width is around 8 inches which comes around 20 and a half centimeters so that is with respect to the length and width of the cowl and the weight this weighs about 101 grams so take a little more than 100 grams of blanket yarn you can get a 100 gram ball and make it if you're making with this dimension but it will be on the edge so yeah with 100 grams also you can uh, do it but it also depends on the tension how tight or how loose you crochet so safer side get a little more than 100 grams of super bulky weight yeah Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. If you're using a bulky weight, super bulky weight yarn, this kind of yarn needle would be better to hide in all the loose ends. So these are with respect to the dimensions of the cowl and the materials. Now, if you're ready, we can get started. So we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first. So leave a long tail and then make your slip knot. So take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X now take this loop out this is your working yarn pull your working yarn through this loop here so this here is your slip knot now you can attach your yarn to your hook the slip knot to the hook now the first step is to make a chain stitch so i'm going to make a very long chain stitch so for an adult size woman you can make a chain stitch which is about 74 centimeters or 29 inches long that is well enough to go around the neck of an adult woman size if you're making for a child size you might have to reduce the number of chain stitch so for 74 centimeters or 29 inches i'm going to make a total of 53 chain stitches all right so i'll make my 53 chain stitches first so here i have made a chain stitch which is 74 centimeters long and for that i have put 53 uh, chain stitch now the number of chain stitch may vary depending on the yarn and the hook size that you're using and also on how tight or how loose you crochet so whatever is the chain stitch number it is totally fine just make sure that it is about close to uh 29 inches or 74 centimeter there is no odd and even just make sure that the chain stitch is 74 centimeter long now this is for adult size next what we do is we start our row one so for that we have to skip the first three chain stitch now this is a bit tricky here if you are starting to use the blanket yarn for the first time so you have to feed your stitches so skip three stitches so this is one 
this is two this is three so uh, you have to skip three stitches and into the fourth stitch make a double crochet so find your fourth stitch try to feel it find the fourth stitch and make a double crochet so insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is our first double crochet this three chain stitch here will also be counted as a double crochet now come to your next chain stitch so this is where if you want you can just uh, poke your finger through it just to be sure that you are able to get the next stitch and again put a double crochet so into your next stitch again we are making a double crochet come to your next stitch again make a double crochet so for row one you just have to go ahead and make a row of double crochets so i'll just go ahead and complete this row making double crochet in every stitch so here i have finished one full row of double crochet and i now have a total of um, 51 double crochets so 51 double crochet it's 50 double crochet plus the starting three chain stitch that is how i got 51 double crochet so whatever is your starting chain stitch two less number will be the double crochet so say you're starting with 60 chain stitch you will have 57 double crochets and the starting three chain stitch total of 58 double crochets all right so for my case i now have 51 double crochet in row one we will move on to row two now row two is again going to be a same uh, repetition of row one we are just going to make a double crochet row uh, but the thing is that uh, you can start the next round from here on in two different ways the first traditional way is to make three chain stitch one two three and then you can turn your work consider this as a double crochet and start working the next double crochet from the second stitch onwards so that is one way of starting your double crochets uh, starting your row but the problem with this here is that it will create a big gap here so as you go on building the rows this three chain stitch here will create big gaps so in order to avoid that i'll show you another simple way to start your double crochet row so this was our very last double crochet okay i'll show you first with a plain simple yarn so that you understand what we are trying to do we are basically making two single crochet we are going to stack two single crochet one on top of each other so if this was your double crochet row you have completed your double crochet row again you're going to make a double crochet on top of it so you can turn your work first and then into the first stitch i'm going to make a single crochet so insert your hook into that into the first stitch and make a single crochet like this and i'm going to put one more single crochet on top of the stitch so if you see we have two bars here i'll go to the leftmost bar okay so here i'm going to insert my hook and again i'm going to make a single crochet like this so basically i'm stacking two single crochet on top of each other so this will be my first double crochet for this round so two single crochet on top of each other is our first double crochet come to your next stitch then make a double crochet and you can go ahead and continue this pattern so this is how it would be so that will reduce the gap between the stitches and it will be as high as your double crochet you don't have to put chain three you can stack two single crochet on top of each other so that is what i'm going to do with this yarn here okay so we'll do that i just wanted to show it with the yarn because this might not be very clear since it's a blanket yarn here okay so once you're done with row one you just turn your work now into the first stitch here we'll make a single crochet first so insert your hook pull up a loop you have two loops yarn over pull through both the loops here so this here is my first single crochet now i'm going to make one more single crochet so if you see here if you kind of split it open you have two bars through the leftmost bar i'm going to insert my hook and then make a single crochet so that will be the height of our first double crochet this here is our first double crochet now if you find it very difficult you just go ahead with a chain three now come to your next stitch and make a normal double crochet like this 
then into your next stitch again a double crochet like that just go ahead and repeat a row of double crochet so I just continue this and meet you at the end of round sorry row two so continue making a row of double crochets so here I'm almost at the end of row two I have the very last stitch to do so I have put 50 double crochet and the very last stitch will go on top of the third chain of the chain three remember we had skipped three chain stitches so find the third chain and make your very last double crochet on top of that so into the third chain make your double crochet like this so this finishes row two now row two again should have the same number of double crochet as row one so for my case i have now a total of 51 double crochet now we're just going to repeat row two up to row six so it's just one row repeat double crochet uh, pattern so row three again we are just going to start like row two you can turn your work work here you can either start with three double crochet or you can stack two single crochet on top of each other i'm going to do that so into your first stitch without any turning chain go into the first stitch and make a single crochet like this and then put one more single crochet on top of this bar the side bar so insert your hook there and make a single crochet like this so this will be considered as the first double crochet of this row and then go to your next stitch and make a double crochet like that you can go ahead and continue the pattern making one double crochet in each of these stitches so i'm just going to repeat these double crochet patterns up to row six so that will be the width of our cowl so I'm just going to make six rows of double crochet. Now I had already done this uh, two stacking of two single crochet on top of each other on one another shawl uh, which was made with yarns. So if you want some more help with that thing or you want to see it once again, I'll put the link up here. You can click on the i button as well as in the description box. I'll leave the link for that shawl that uses this method of stacking up two single crochets and anyway, i'll just continue this pattern making six rows of double crochets so here i have completed six rows of double crochets and the width is about eight inches so i'm going to stop this here now if you want much more wider cowl you can just go ahead and add more rows so this was my very last row i'm just going to cut my yarn here so just cut your yarn i'll take the scissors and cut it off all right so that is done now all that is left is to weave in the end so if you're using this kind of blanket yarn you do get uh, this kind of uh, yarn needle which has a large eye it has like a wire thing here so this will be more convenient to use especially if you are using your blanket yarn and you just have to weave in the loose end so you can Go a couple of times up and down since this is a blanket yarn you might have to weave in weave this in a few times more than your regular yarn because this might come out so go in one direction and then go back in the reverse direction i like to do it three times i'll go from to a couple of stitches this way then this way and then again go back or if you want you can go this direction just randomly go through a couple of stitches in both the directions okay so just weave in this end as well as the starting end so i'll just do that so here i have weaved in all the loose ends and also i have attached three buttons here so you can attach it on the top or the bottom side on the lengthwise you have to attach three buttons and this is how you'll be folding it you can take it like this this will go around your neck and with the width side okay you can just use it as a button closure i have not done any button closure because these have big uh, holes here between the uh, double crochets you have big gaps so that is what i'm going to use as the button closure so these buttons can go there so attach the buttons on the length side and use the closure on the width side so here you can easily find the closure points like this 
okay so there our cowl is ready it's a very very fast uh, project to do and it's really very comfortable now if you want if you find that it is really coming up to your uh, face what you can do is you can just fold it over like a collar that also you can do so it will keep you really nice and warm and i'm sure if you're going to give it as a gift it will be highly highly appreciated so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do a crochet cowl i hope you liked it now if you are making one please do tag me in your pictures i leave all my handle links social media handle links in the description box if you are looking for other crochet patterns especially for winter like cowls mittens or beanies i do have quite a few on my channel so i'll put all the link in the description box as well as on the end screen that is coming up here so that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching